Well, heck. I didn't get to look at anything else. Oh, no. All right. How many days are there in this? Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> like Burt Reynolds. If Tom Cruise had a good-looking twin. <laughs> I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. That's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes that don't really think about tuxedos as often as possible. Try to look nice. Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 <laughs> years, yeah. But um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I may have a thick beard. My nose has been broken. You'll enjoy my thin moustache and long scar. I know it's not <laughs> we'll easy. go the beard. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. <laughs> your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Oh your no, he's gonna feel weird. Me. Steely, happy. Um. Steely. They're, uh, they're steely. A cold hard stare. Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Amazing. What is this weird house? <laughs> That's the big question, isn't it? We need more boards. Five foot seven, but everything makes them look taller. Five foot seven. Wow. I'm five foot five or something. Something along those lines. Where are the boards? We have to start cutting down our own trees. Ask about that? We cannot. Oh, wait, there's a board. Literally right there. <laughs> Why are we leaving them all? <laughs> That's the big question, isn't it? I I don't know. We've got one more to find though. Is it up here? We got one more. Aha ha. I honestly think I would be too scared to do this as a job. Could anyone here do this as a job? If if given the opportunity, would you? I 
I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. <laughs> okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. <gasps> you know, it's Where? not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. It's gone! Oh my god. Do something might be a struggle. True. Ah, uh, exclamation mark roll. Hello, Henry. A sandwich. A nice afternoon? I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. <gasps> They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Do we be honest here? Do we tell the truth? All right, let's 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 tell the truth. I I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll uh I'll, I'll keep it vague. I I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. All right, we're gonna tell the truth. Oh yeah, it is time jumps. This is a fun playthrough. Henry, Henry, wake up. Oh boy, what's happening? <gasps> oh, never mind, we've... Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Huh? Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry. Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Telling your lover! This guy. Too much Sky. of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. 
There should be okay. loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. All right. So, like, two that weeks was real. Ago, yeah. You called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. Oh. I just thought it was so sweet. Never mind. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay. You know, when it comes to her. Nothing. Look, so, a couple of months before I took this job, I I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. <gasps> and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Uh, I figured you've told me so much oh about boy. you. Oh boy. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Am I going the right way? Yes. Yeah, so it was a dream. Um. I think. <gasps> oh, I thought that was a person. Did anyone else, like, when they were a kid growing up, used to think that, like, random objects in the corner of the room was like a person it used to freak me out all the time all the time that was just me We shouldn't take. We shouldn't. I'm gonna feel bad. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? You've got a <gasps> front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, oh, it's really going. Oh no. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Oh, um. Let's go uh, with that. Well, we should just call it the big fire if we think it's going to be. The big fire. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that is practical. Always my goal. I'm actually amazed we've never used that name. Sometimes the best names are the most obvious. True. The big fire it is. There it so is. There's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. 
She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. <gasps> oh boy! Oh boy! I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, yeah. I'm not. Uh, yes, you I am. should. Let me know when you are. I have, Dro. It's so good. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Sure you are. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. Is she hitting on us? I was over there. Um... Okay. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. Yeah, what? finish the sentence. What could we do? Well, let me tell you. fishing without a license it's one fish and i'm sick of all the stuff i got to eat no well, i won't tell anyone you're a poacher that reminds me i keep hearing reports from fish and game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find there was a crew burning fire lines out to the east and um you know i think sometimes it riles up the wildlife Uh, sure. No problem. Remember me fondly. <laughs> you are such a drama queen. Ugh. Save for later. We'll leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? What the... Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. What? Wait, hold on, something's out here. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. What? Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. <gasps> oh, my God! Henry? Are you there? That scared what me. What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something <sighs> by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? It was a bear. No. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with the radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, I... I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's... It's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. I can believe, yeah. Fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. Mm. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... 
Are you sure you saw what Yes, what you Delilah. Saw Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Hmm. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What is going on behind that fence? What do you think is going on behind that fence? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Is it okay. This way? There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm going to call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Dude. Yeah, she is the last person I am trusting right now. Gonna full riot? Same. Is Hopper you can manage? Oh, hope you're doing alright. I'm hiking through the canyon. Which way is my best bet for getting to Wapiti Meadow? It looks like you can find a trail on the north shore of Jonesy Lake towards the west. Thanks, D. Towards the. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? <laughs> Wait, is there... Was it this way? We turn around? Yeah, to go back this way, right? I can just du duck up there. Right? Yeah, we can go this way. Is this it? Yeah. Yeah. See progress. Oh, can I? All right, let's attach this one. Yeah, I do not trust Delilah. Can I just throw out there? Maps and compasses? Yeah, I get a little bit confused too. Who is con like who who is sure that they would be fine if you know doing something like this and needing to use a map and compass? The person is married. What's his name? Henry. Henry is married. I don't like Delilah. I don't, I don't trust Delilah. I don't trust her. I reckon she's setting us up. As long as a military app becomes and protracted, then sure. Really? All right, I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. <gasps> yeah, we'll Heck, yes, that. it would be. D liar. All right, let's try this. All right. Another one? Let's go find someone's radio and use it to bust the log. More rocks. Okay. I seen some. Where were they? 
Were they all the way back here? Oh. Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. There was more rocks. Oh, shit. Here. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual oh. firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Why don't we just climb over? Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. South of... Where? All the way down there? All right. Go, go, go. Well, we need to get to the lake and then we can just follow that. The river, I should say. Out of one. <laughs> All right. So east, right? Yes. The fast travel, I know, right? We gotta do the whole trip. But at least we get some nice music. Follow the water. It's really cool to know that there's a, a free roam when you finish the game. You can just wander around. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Yeah. Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. If you didn't open it yourself, right. it's strange. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. But red. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. Yeah, well, you sound worried. Not spin out of control, um, just keep hiking. So, yeah, just as a Whatever heads you up. Say, boss. I think we're going through here now, right? South, uh, and that's south. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh. Oh, yeah, we could never go in there, could we? We could never go in there. I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. It would have been terrifying. Um, uh, is that could protect he him? He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? You're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Am I going the right way now, or am I going the... Yes. Big Lama Wall. All good? Good stuff. Good stuff. We, uh, just keep going up, I think. All right, up we go. Up and up and up. Oh, I went the wrong way. No, I didn't. Never mind. Um, but yeah, I did. Um, I did put up a poll for the next game that we are going to play uh, up in Discord. If anyone wants to to go vote. Um, wait, this one. I guess we'll just follow this and see where it goes, huh? So that was our watchtower there. Maybe let's just, yeah, follow this. Mm, down, perhaps? Oh, so that loops. Okay, so yeah, we need to go this way. Music in this is really lovely too. Ooh, we can we can grab that. Hi Yeti. How are you? that another note Ron really wish the powers that could issue us radios that didn't suck us most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away my sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mum I've been sitting at the spot for a while now thinking about what to say to her but I'm a quarter of the way through a bottle of fives instead miss you Dave yeah, just the same. The same, uh. Oh, I don't know why we threw that. <laughs> Toilet paper. Wait, is there something. I'm not wanting to throw these. I'm just trying to see if there's anything under. <laughs> um. Alright, what way now? We still need to be going. Alright. Dirtying the toilet paper. I know, we're just evil, aren't we? I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. <laughs> Let's see. The scout camp yeah. is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Oh. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this oh pond boy. and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Alright, so we just keep... Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? 
Port Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Oh. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. All right. All right, let's try the other way. Maybe. Wait, is this the way? to be. Maybe we go... We should have just jump up over here. That torch was still on that entire time. Um, okay, maybe it's back the other way entirely. I guess we can make this jump or something. Oh, we could make that. We could. I have faith. Um, we're heading towards the fire, right? I'm at the camp. Great. Have a look around. If if anyone's still there, they might be able to help. I'm gonna sound crazy. Maybe you just ask them to help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. This place looks dead, but I'll see what I can find. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Can we stop this out? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well... Forced. I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. That's the same one as Elia. <gasps> DVD confirmed! Um... All right, nothing there. All right, so I guess we're gonna go down. Oh, there's an ax? Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. I probably should have mentioned that. Hey D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Um. Squad boss Carson, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thorofair region of Shosho National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out of a, to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll want to be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service, Rich. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare oh. on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? 
station. Holy crap. Well, keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. <laughs> my mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Pond toads. Us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, mm. fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Um, how did I get... <laughs> how do we get back? I would have gotten strong enough to climb back up some of these drop-offs, but here I am, stuck. Yeah, well, we've all got our limits, Henry. Um. Well, that's great and all, but how do we... Get back? Ah. <coughs> Check. Keep an eye out for someone following us. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle of nowhere. Oh boy. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like another lookout, could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Oh! Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. <gasps> oh, that's scary. Does that give anyone else the heebie jeebies? Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the. Oh, 50th time today. The big fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Um. I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is- I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. Maybe she's just going along By with it. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, yeah. the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know- have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? No, we're meant to lie. Right. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Yeah. Let me look at it and I'll tell you. No, you don't need to tell me. Just, um, 
Internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Okay. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Wait, I... Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Okay. Okay. So, where is Cottonwood? Cottonwood Creek? What, down here? Pointing a stick. Tell me all the stuff. Let me get down here first. And then... Why are we not still carrying the axe? We need to go south. Not who I thought it was. What, the voice actor? Are we about to see Delilah? Or maybe she's setting us up. Wouldn't put it past her at this point. One more trophy. Ooh. Is there many in it? I'm going to trust for Delilah. I literally never trust anyone in games. Replace with someone with help. Yeah, she does, hey. Um, so we need to go southwest. There's literally nothing here. Unless they're a vampire, that's it. There's ten. Okay. Now I'm walking southeast. I need to get. Wait. Do I need to go back? My thing still says examine flora poster. <laughs> Did, did I mess up? Do I need to go back? Oh, rats. Does anyone know? I don't want to trek back if I don't really need to, you know? Yeah, of course, Atlas. Well, this is southwest here. Is that where we should be going? Yeah. Sounds like circles. I, oh, I do, I do just need to go to the creek? Okay. Alright, let's just go... Sounds like I'm being followed. Hovered over the tree and it said cottonwood tree. So you went to click something with the other guess is at the... Oh, I see. This tree, right? Beautiful. A ski?
And there's Delilah up the top. A box. Oh. So, wait, cash 308? I swear I can hear someone following me and I do not like it. was down here yeah one two three four no unless it's meant to be Wait, what? She's heckin' changed it. Uh, uh I'm here at Cottonwood oh. Creek. See the cash box there? Oh. I just checked it and the code doesn't work. It's because I changed it. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. <laughs> All right. The radio can't get in. Yeah, it must be. Oh. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. You were in on this! Whatever these what the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? You know that I'm scared. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Gotta get all the way back to the gate. I'm assuming we have the one and a half, two. Okay, I thought that'd be a while. Alright, we might finish up in a minute then. Because there is no way I'm unfortunately going to make that. How could you have directions? I mean, now I'm just kind of like figuring it out by like basing it off that and then adjusting accordingly. Wait, I feel like I should just go back. Where am I? <laughs> well, because I can't jump across. All right. 
update and a shocker with directions to literally no one's surprise. What do you mean? Thought it was going to be a horror. This is! I'm scared. How do I get out of here? <laughs> exactly. Hey, that was time we needed to spend. Bell's sense of direction is a horror. Wow. This is unbelievable. Where am I now? All right, well, we'll make it there eventually. No worries, Nyla. Hey, uh, Have a good morning. I Thank you for hanging out. Something not, um, not great. What? What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. Heck and Delilah. Well, someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. So, uh, southwest, and we are... Oh, wait, we need to go this way? Well, this is not looking too good for us. At 5.30 in the morning? Oh, boy. I still reckon it's those people that went missing. The, the dad and his son. Um, was it this way? Yes. Someone pop a tire. You are so lovely. Did I just do a circle? Did I just do a circle? <laughs> Don't look at me, okay? I am trying my best. I love this game. Me too. Bop, bop. Me too. Thank you for the seven months. Oh boy. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Thank you for thank you for hanging out today. Why well, the game is ninety years long? I don't want to talk about it, alright? So where am I going? Northwest. Yeah, all right. This way. Thank you so much, D. I somehow just fully turned around and walked back. Geek. Get so lost? Yeah. Me too. It's easy to do, I feel. Um. All right, well, it's all the same. I 
I think. Oh my goodness. Man, we really like this cave. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Like the cave. Yeah, we just keep ending up there. I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. What makes that noise? Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. <sighs> Fuck. How about you don't do that again? Okay. Yeah, that's my bad. A pterodactyl. An elk? It did sound like one, hey. Horse you oh. <laughs> Alright. We're nearly there. <laughs> Pretty sure it was up here. Down here. Yeah, it's so pretty. All right. So if we get back here and this door's open. No, we're not going to tell her. We're just going in. <sighs> We got stung by a bee. For PD station personnel, if you were trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Joseph. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunction, or violation should be reported immediately. Can't even tell her what we're doing. In case they're listening. This music's kind of freaking me out though. That is true, that did happen. Not gonna lie, I'm getting kind of nervous. Here. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Generator! Yeah, lucky for us. B, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them.
knock it down? Yeah, we could. Whoa. Aliens? Aliens. I mean, there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? This thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. Wh what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Heck you in your mug! I'm in their main tent. How do I stop it beeping? I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does and then get the hell oh out. Oh my. Ooh, yeah. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Yeah, I also feel like I'm about to get knocked out. Dude, what? I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's <gasps> Jam! some sort of monitoring station. They're making jam! Illegally. Oh. Where's my beeper? Signal received. I'm confused. Wait, where have I gone wrong? I can't see the monitor thing anymore. Stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. All to do with this mug. Assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is. What, did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. 
they are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain? Or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Oh my... Yeah. Maybe. Oh my god, delight. No. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! Oh my god. Look, it's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Tomorrow? No, you leave right now. There's someone gonna be out here! I'm scared. I'm so, I'm actually scared right now. <laughs> hey, Mr. Park Ranger. finishing it tonight um i am finishing up shortly so there will be whoa, whoa. there will be the vod um and i also think i might <gasps> um delilah there's smoke coming from the site I, mean, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed what the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. 